Wow, good afternoon, everybody. I know this is not pre-planned live, but here is the reason for this. Everybody was going crazy today because I guess what? That is not working. Oh my God, that is not working. What I am going to do? How I'm going to book those trucks? How I am going to continue working? It's the end of the world, is it? Well, I can tell you this. My name is Alex, as many of you know me as a sassy dispatch girl. And being sassy dispatch girl, you need to make sure you have a plan B, plan C, plan D. It's always have to be plan B. Uh, good afternoon, guys. I see Canal is watching. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Park Force. Yes, as Janelle says, it is plan B. So the first plan B would be what? Truck stop. Truck stop was working. This is your plan B. But what else can be a plan B? What about all the load boards, right? So let's look at this. I mean, um, if you've been doing it for a while or if you took my classes, you know that you're always going to have plan B. So let's go. Here's our truck stop, right? So truck stop was working. Some of you are not familiar or maybe do not have it as a backup. Well, it seems like that have been having some problems. And yes, we are partners with them. But I tell you this, they have so many subscribers and they are doing a pretty good job. And you know, when you add in more features, sometimes things don't go well, right? So I still big fan of them. Of course, I'm a professional. That's why I have a plan B. Well, same options as in, in uh, that, right? Posting trucks. You can post your trucks right here. See, I posted one for Lake Zurich. For example, this is going to be a refrigerated unit. Truck load. I'm looking for the full load. Uh, actually, for reefer, maximum would be 45,000 on a weight. He's 53 foot. And what does it mean this? Max width. This is an opening of the door, okay? So don't uh, mistake in that with trailer lens, right? So we have 40, uh, 48 or we have 53. Or if you're work, uh, working with uh, uh, box trucks, it's 26. But usually we work with the big guys, right? 48 or 53. So this is opening of the door. If you really want to put it, you can put it. It's optional. Uh, you're going to choose a date. You can choose one date. You can choose two dates. But does it make sense? No, my truck has to get loaded on Monday. So I am choosing this. Destination. That's what I am really not liking about truck stop because uh, it doesn't give you that many options. For the post trucks, it at least gives you the states. So you can choose the states. So if I want to go to Ohio, I want to go to Indiana, I want to go to Michigan, I want to go to Pennsylvania, upstate New York, maybe I'm going to go to Minnesota, maybe first upstate Wisconsin, Iowa, Nebraska. Well, I might consider Oklahoma, Missouri, Nebraska, uh, right? All those states. Maybe Texas, not really going to Florida. Florida is always dead. Not a big fan of going to North Carolina mountains, although we have mountains in Pennsylvania, but at least they are paying good loads, right? I'm not going to take the short load in Illinois. Early truck, empty already. Why would I put that comment? See, early truck, empty already. Well, I even going to add 10 carrying doors, right? So I have 10 carrying doors driver. Well, because I want people to reach out to me and call me with a better rates. Because if your truck is early, that means you have a power of negotiation. So now we posted the truck to those states. Now I can go and I can search for loads. So here you go. This is how truck stop. They changed this a few months ago. Still not a big fan, but... Works perfect as a plan B, right? Plan B. Start a new search. Reefer. Again, 45,000, uh, right? 
Sorry, I have two screens, guys. So when I look away, just because my screens are 38 inch each, so it's like a spaceship here. That's what takes to be successful in this batch. Again, I'm going to choose day, exactly Monday. And here is only options I can do by the uh, state or city. Um, and I don't like this because it doesn't let me to choose few states. That's a minus of truck stop when you're searching for loads. So let's click on it. 836 loads, right? Again, you have rates right here. If they are posted, you have a um, deadhead to your origin. So that means that you organize. This is going to be your closest loads to from your origin of your truck. Again, origin of your truck. It's where you park or your previous delivery. So in this case, I am parking Lake Zurich, for example, three miles, seven miles, 12. Of course, I would like to see these options first because why to that head, right? We are all on ELDs. We need to make sure we can pick up, make the transit. So I always organize my trucks by dead head i try to eliminate that head i try to even book the loads in the same facility so i'm always asking about uh back uh backhaul if you're on the phone with your uh, broker do you have a backhaul do you have anything in the area so i can book load back right and usually they will say yes i do so that's already uh something you guys can start doing Okay, um, so if you want to open anything, let's see. Let's open. Here it's going to give you some details. So it's Lake Zurich going to Dallas, Texas. Here is your rate estimated. See? So because it's van or reefer. Again, I do have a reefer. Dispatch, how can I help? Hey, it's Rob for Schneider. How are you? I'm good. How are you, sir? Doing good. Thank you for asking. Um, I'm calling about the truck you guys have in uh, Cherokee, Iowa. Cherokee, Iowa. Uh, actually, that guy got covered. I covered him five minutes ago. Sorry, I'm gonna be taking it down. Oh, okay. All right. No worries. Any other trucks you need help with? Well, I have early truck in Lake Zurich on Monday. He's a reefer tanker indoors guy. If you have any early loads, we can uh, talk about it. Okay, uh, you said uh, this guy's for Monday? Yeah, he's for Monday. He's he's already empty. He's doing his restart. So I really need a early good paying load. Okay, uh, any anywhere he's trying to go specifically? Well, or we can we can go East Coast. We can stay on Midwest. We can maybe go Minnesota or Wisconsin first and then pick up a good paying load to East Coast, somewhere to upstate New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey. Yeah, I might be able to find something for that one. Um, what was your name again? I'm sorry. My name is Alex. Alex? Alex, A L E X. Mm -hmm. Alex, okay. Alex, sorry, yeah, I'm, I'm Robert from Schneider. Yeah, let me see what I can find for this truck for Monday. Um, okay, Robert, I mean, you can, you can, back? yeah, just call me back. I am, I am not, I am not covering him yet. So if you find something, but uh, you have to understand. Do not offer me cheap pain loads. I've been doing it for a while. I know what I'm doing. He's a good guy, early truck, tanker indoors, going to be on time, good equipment. So if you have something decent, call me back. Perfect. That works. I will give you a call back. Thanks, Alex. Thank you. Bye-bye. So here you go. See, it's still Friday. We're still working, right? Uh, it's posted for when or reefer. Let's think about it. I am in strong market, right? I have a reefer. Would I even consider taking the dry van for this price? Look at this. Estimated. If you click on this, it gives you estimated. So this is kind of like a quick rate search. People who are using that, people who are using that, they are used to quick rate search, right? And that is giving you option for seven days, 15 days. It depends on your uh, subscription. So truck stop is also giving you 
for the four week uh, trend. So they are saying that the highest pain for this lane for the last month was 3,100 and the lowest was 2,000, right? So it's plus, it, it should be around 24. Again, I'm a reefer. That's not enough money. Lake Zurich to Dallas, it's approximately 990 miles. I'm not going less than $4 to go to Texas, right? So I need to be at 4000 Do you think it's possible? It doesn't matter if it's me or you, but this is too big gap because this is for driving. I am a reefer. But we can see an option. So you can go back. Let's see. Let's open something else. Let's see um, here. Northbrook to Switzerland, New Jersey, right? 435 per mile. Northbrook is only 17 miles. And since I know my receivers, probably it's going to be Highland Bakery. Usually it will be frozen, zero to minus 10. So let's open the details. When you open truck stock details, you have the loads. So it's posted for 3,400, right? It's picking up on 25th on Monday, but pick up late. So that means that we are going to be wasting Monday. Is that something we want to do? No, not really. But here you have your reliable transportation solution. It tells you that Illinois is strong. They kind of give you visual colors, green. Going to New Jersey, still green. Uh, it still shows 1,041. But remember, East Coast green and Midwest green is totally different thing, right? Because ratio, truck and load ratio might be uh, considering high, but the payment is going to be cheaper because we always go to East Coast, we charge more. So uh, that's how truck stuff works. What I don't like that you have to scroll down. Here is your D uh, day to pay. So you can see the day A, average uh, 22 days. Um, what else can you see here? Well, um, decision tools. You can go low to truck ratio, best paying loads. I mean, all of this is here. It tells you the total distance. It tells you the weight. So here's the truck stop. If you click on practical miles, it's going to take you to the map. If you guys don't use any other software, it tells you how much uh, you're going to uh, spend in a fuel. If you want to see, uh, you can give directions. Nowadays, I don't think we use it because all the drivers have smartphones. So this would be your option B, right? As Ginelli said, that truck stop would be your option. Here's the decision tools, right? Low to truck ratio. You can choose. You can choose the area, and I hope you guys know the areas, right? So truck stop divides them differently than that. That divides them by zone Z zero to nine, and they have a different names: North, East, South, East. Here we have New England. We have North East. East Coast, Southeast, Ohio Valley, Upper Plains, Midwest, South, Mountain States, West Coast, and Sea Canada and Mexico. That's how you gonna have regions divided in truck stop. Still the same map, still the same uh, regions, you just need to know. So if you click on a flatbed, it's gonna show you exactly what's going on. You can choose drive-in, you can choose when a reefer, reefer, and specialized. So here, load to truck ratio. That's one of the tools. You can click on state, and it's going to tell you more details. Okay? Like any tools, my products, what do they give? A load tracking, credit uh, for brokers. You can choose what other uh, carrier tools. Let's see where it's going to take us to carrier tools. So they have lots of videos. You can choose a different payment. So they have a back a basic plan for 39. I do have advanced one for no, actually, you know what? I do have a pro for 149. I do believe if you call them and you would like to sign up, they can give you the first 
three months as an advance, but you will have a pro. And after three months, it's going to go to 149. They also have an option for what? For the phone, if you are traveling or it's easier for you to book on a phone. But again, not all the features are working for the phone app. So plan B is done, right? Truck stop, learn how to use it, loads, corridor, posting, load management, everything is same. Truck stop community, I really do like them because they have a lot of good, they have a lot of trainings, they have help uh, articles. So I like truck stop about this. You can learn a lot about logistics, why reading, they have forum. They have forum about loads, about products. So you can find lots and lots of good uh, materials about tracking logistics. So truck stop is good on it. Okay, let's go to plan B. Now our plan A is working, right? So everybody's like, oh my God, I'm back to dispatching, right? Okay, plan A is working. Did not work probably till what? Till 1 p.m. or 12. I didn't even bother to log in because everybody was just complaining. What would be other plans? So let's think about it. What other plans do we have? I see Brittany is here. She says that she she have not used load boards for a while. Well, she's our previous student and she built the connections, right? So she probably booking them with the same broker in and out. Uh, as we all know, she's been working with power only going to the ports in South Carolina. So for her was not even an issue. She probably did not even think about any complaints today unless she was belonging to some um, Facebook groups that everybody was going crazy, right? Um so she said that she uh, other load border, same broker. Yes. So all the brokers on truck stops are the same because they have it as a backup uh, plan. Hi from Ukraine. Uh, доброго дня. В Україні вже певно вечір. Uh, <laughs> I had to say uh, hi uh, to my Ukrainian people. I'm born and raised in Ukraine. So it's nice to see people following me from Ukraine gonna come and visit gonna come and visit in june so maybe gonna do some trainings live trainings in ukraine that's a plan i'm going there to reteach a lot of dispatch services so hopefully vitali you can sign up for my live training in ukraine who else is here canali said hi as she said plan b was truck stop let's think about it so that's only plan b but we are professionals Let's say you don't have truck stop. Do you think that today the truck stop phones were going crazy because everybody was trying to get subscription? And then again, if you are really good with that, you don't really need two subscriptions. So the plan C would be what? Using all the load boards, right? Brokers load boards. Look, you can go to XPO. And you can start looking for the loads, right? So let's see, what did they have today? Okay, let's see, all loads, search, let's search. Let's search, I actually had uh, Omaha, Nebraska earlier, right? Omaha, Nebraska, apply, and it was for today. So you have to make sure exactly for today, uh, done, equipment is, drive in i'm gonna apply this and let's see what they had well the only one they have left was this guy they say it's a hot deal right so let's open it up uh lane and stop requirements it's pick up in whole iowa going to waverly iowa picking up today and delivering today straight through that's what that means straight through same day pick up, same day delivery, straight through. Of course, you can read about it. They say that they need 53 foot um, drive in. This is a weight, heavy load, 45,320 pounds. Uh, they give you the notes that seal will be required after tracking is required. 
you have the phone number or what can you do? You can click agree and you can give them a bid. Of course, this is a straight through. I don't care. Nobody's going to do this for $735. The total distance is 216 miles. That head would be 150. Well, we need to be at least at 1400, right? So place a bit. And you can play, you can play with them, right? So you can put the driver's name and save delivery location since it's uh, delivering uh, for today. So they want you to put where he is, right? Proc empty. Yes, he's empty. And I'm just pretending, guys, because I already found the load, right? So he's already empty. Okay, let's put 530 empty. Save. Okay, so here you go. You have successfully placed a bit on the load, right? Well, they're going to respond to you via mail or they, you will see it right here. So when you go to your bids right here, you can see it says that it's on the review. They can do two things. They can counter offer. They can accept it. You will need to verify information one more time. And that's what you're going to do. So XPO was working, right? XPO was working. Well, TQL was working as well. So you can also my loads, you can post your equipment, right? And you can do the same on XPO. You can post your equipment. So you could have post your truck. Let's say, let's post it for the truck we work in for Monday, right? So it's logging in. Okay, where are we gonna be? Uh, we're going to be in Lake Zurich, Illinois, right? When do we need it to load on 25th, empty time, drop off. We're not even going to put, we can go by the region. So we can go to East Coast, right? We can go, oh, I'm just going to leave it blank, 53 feet, trailer type. He's a reefer, number of trucks. We have one available. And here's my phone, 24, 632, I am going to post. So what's going on now? Now everybody in TQL can see that I have truck available. D doesn't matter. If a uh, truck stop works or doesn't work, it doesn't matter. They can see. I can also look for the loads right so you can go my loads all the loads you did for tql this year search and quote here's a search so let's see so again you have to kind of repeat yourself and we are looking for monday and we are looking for reefer and he's going to be 53 and maximum 45 search so now we're going to see all loads for TQL for Monday. And I just received the text message from XPO. So we're going to look at this. So look, guys, some of the loads you can book right away or you can put an offer. So let's see. Does it make sense? Pick up in Aurora, uh, 1 p.m. in Illinois on Monday going to pick one pick two pick three pick four this is a nonsense hey dear tql we do not do nonsense right we are looking for one and one only we know what we are doing we do not believe plus for this nonsense the rate has to be way higher but it helps you guys right you can look at the details okay uh topic let's open this one this is van or reefer. Again, van or reefer is not going to pay as much. So you can look at the details, pick up in Champaign, delivery in McClenny, Florida. Again, is your driver lives in uh, Florida? Is TQL really going to give you that $5,500, 6000 to go to Florida? Well, it's up to you to decide. Personally, me, I'm not going to Florida. Florida is dead. I know what I'm doing. Here's the details. Detention policy. This is first come, first serve. Four hours free. Four hours free. That means that loading or unloading is not going to be that fast. They already know that. 
But anyway, still, you have a backup plan. Let's look at this. This doesn't sound bad. Pick up at 10 o'clock, delivery next day, delivery next day in Quakertown, Pennsylvania, 7 p.m. So transit is possible, right? He wants to pay us 3,400. 3,400 on 750 miles plus my head, 800 miles. So 34 divided by what? 34 divided by 810. Let's see. Let's see how it's going to work out, right? So 3,400 divided by 810 miles. 419. This is not bad. Let's quote him, right? We have phone number 224 600 3200. Well, let's quote him at four grand, right? Submit. Here you go. Why? Because pickup is at 10 o'clock. I have empty truck, right? So let's look. If we're going to look at a uh, map, let's prepare the map really fast. Where is my map? Um, there's my stream yard. Sorry, guys, that I'm going all over all my logins. So we are picking up in, we're going to be in Lake Zurich. Picking up in what? Bolingbroke, I believe, right? Bolingbroke going to, um, what was it? Quaker Town? Let's see. Oh, Juliet. Pick up in Juliet. I just hope that it's not cold storage in Juliet, right? Because I do not like that shipper. So let's change to Juliet, right? So here you go. This is your transit. If you do pick up at 10 o'clock, you have your dad hat. You have to look at details. Let's say 10, 11, 12. I know they're not that good. I'll give them till 1 p.m. to get out of there. So 7 p.m. Is that possible for the next day? Yes. So if they can give us $4,000 for 813 miles, we can book it, right? So that's what it is. So again, TQL. We need to make sure that we are watching our emails. So let's look what is, um, did, um, did TQL or XPO give us uh, offers, right? Look at this, counter offer, remember? The one we posted 1400 for XPO, well, they're not giving us money, right? They are giving the same $735. Well, XPO, thank you, but we're going to do what? We're going to say thank you so much. We're not desperate. Reject counter offer. Goodbye, XPO. Next one, TQL. Who else do we have? Well, we also have Coyote, right? Look at this. Counter decline pending. We posted also offer from Chicago going to Westboro, Massachusetts. They want to pay $4,000. We ask for $4,500. But again, you guys can find the loads everywhere. So there's no such thing as, oh my God, what I'm going to do. That was plan C. So plan A is that or whatever load board you use. Plan B would be truck stop. Plan C would be all other load boards. What other plans can we have? Well, guys, we have brokers we working with, right? So we have their phone numbers. We have their emails, right? We know if you go to Iowa all the time, you know what you usually pick up. So what can you do? You're going to pick up your phone and you're going to say, hey, Mike, how are you? It's Alex calling from coast to coast or Silk Road or American headquarters, right? Whoever you represent. You know what? Load board is not working, cannot find anything. Can you help me out? Because brokers were calling today. They are using the same load board. So it was hard for them if they did not have plan B truck stop. Where can they post their loads? only on their load boards, right? That's why today it was really easy to watch this game, right? Back and forth, back and forth. 
Well, let's see if you guys have any questions. Other low bothers. Yes, we have TQL, we have Conway, we have Jibihan, we have Schneider, we have Swift, Conway, we have all of them. We have Loadmaster, we have Indian Logistics, we have Siege Robinson, you name it. So uh, you should be able to have plan B, C, and D. Well, again, it's Friday. Are you pre-planning your trips? Let's talk about it. And uh, hello, everybody. I mean, if you have any questions, we're just going to continue. I had some time today before my classes on weekend because we have safety class tomorrow. We have safety class on Sunday and, of course, my Sunday dispatch class. So I'm not sure if I am going to be uh, able to do my life on Monday. That's why I decided to join you guys today so let's see a question as an independent dispatcher can you get access to all load boards as an independent dispatcher you're gonna get access to those load boards on behalf of carrier carriers have access to them so they will give you access as a dispatcher but can you sign up for just tql no because what's gonna happen well, you don't have MC, you dispatching for five different carriers. TQL wants to make sure that you're not double brokering. C.H. Robinson wants to make sure you're not double brokering. Conway wants to make sure that you're not just booking loads and you're not double brokering, right? Guys, some people do that, especially in Amazon. They have two trucks and they are booking 20 loads, right? How? Well, until Amazon catches them, right? And I think I would think that Amazon would be smarter than that because if the MC shows only two power units and their account is booking 10, 15, 20 loads per week, hello, hello, where do they go? They go on somebody's other trucks so people resell. Lots of scams going on. If you guys have been watching my live yesterday, not live, but recorded um Reaching out to me as an independent dispatch service, I am telling you, I'm just getting sick to my stomach and tired of people without knowledge trying to provide services, without knowing regions, regions without knowing time zones, without knowing the weather, but they're charging 7%. They're char charging $300 a week. And what do they bring? They bring zero to trucking industry because they are killing this industry right so guys again you as a carrier you should be able to ask your dispatcher well give me an example for your trucks you dispatching two three trucks i don't need to know their mc i'm not asking for the personal information of the carrier right i don't need their tax id i don't really need even the rate confirmations the full rate confirmations but I want to see at least two, three weeks of the trips, right? I want to see RPM because for me, it takes one look and I can tell you when are you faking it or when are you not telling the truth, believe it or not. Secondary, you have to ask, what is the average RPM? What plan would you have for me? Because professional dispatcher, dispatchers who have knowledge, they're going to ask you, well, where are you located? When do you want to be home? What type of equipment do you have? What would you like to take or not take? And here is my ideas. Why don't we stay on Midwest right now? Or we can go to East Coast, come back. The dispatcher always going to give you different ideas because a good dispatcher is going to make you profitable, right? Good dispatcher, TQL is calling us, right? Dispatch. Hey there, is uh, Andre there? Yes, it's me. Are you calling us at the posted bid for the reefer load on Monday? Oh, uh, I believe so. Uh, Illinois to Pennsylvania? Yeah, going to Pennsylvania. So what is the deal there? Oh, let me bring this one up real quick. Uh, this is picking up in Juliet, Illinois on Monday, Monday at 10 a.m. Um, it's a load of frozen dinners going out to Quakertown, Pennsylvania. Delivery there is Tuesday at 7 p.m. Who is the shipper uh, in Juliet? Is that uh, Juliet Cold Storage? 
I'm not sure to be honest with you. I just got silly names and zips. Well, you should know. You're a broker on this, right? No, I'm a logistics coordinator. Okay. Who is a receiver in Quaker Town? Oh, uh, that I've got as U.S. cold storage. U.S. cold storage. Okay. How heavy is the load? Uh, let's see here. It is a maximum of uh, 35.5. Is that including pallets? Yep. Okay. And the temperature is zero or minus 10? I believe it's zero, but it'll specify in the DOL. Okay, so we put the offer at 4000 Can you match the off uh, our offer? Oh, we're not too far off. Um, what's your MC? It's 995-912. Coast to Coast Carrier Score? Yep. And you're at four? I'm at four, yep. He's an early truck, empty already. You do not have to worry about him getting empty so he's going to be there on time and he's going to make a transit fresh on the log books okay. he's already empty yes he's already doing a restart okay hang on just one second for me sounds good so guys remember we just put an offer they're paying 34 this is already four dollars 60 cents to go to east coast we made it to 4,000. So 4,000 divided by 800, it's going to be higher, but that's what we need. We have early truck. So uh, broker wants to be around 36 on this. We uh, meet in the middle of 37.50. So broker wants to be at 36. I want to be at four. He wants to meet in the middle, but my middle is different. The lowest I can do, hon, it's going to be 39.50. 39.50? Yes. If you want to put my offer in, you can go ahead and do so and call me back. Okay, very happy to give you just a second. Okay. People, your awful ha offer has to be strong. I don't care where there is middle is. My middle is different. I'll give him $50 off, right? That's it. I'm not meeting in the middle of whatever TQL because I have a good truck. Who is empty already, right? All right. I got the deal, right? Okay. Make yeah, sure you send it. 39.50. And what is your name? I'm Josh. Josh, what is your direct extension so I can reach you if I don't get the right confirmation? What is it? 45264. Okay. And can you make sure can you make sure that you send the details for me as well before Monday so the driver knows where to go? Thank you so much. Have a great weekend. Oh, hold on, hold on. I guess you got to get some information from you. Okay, you need the information about the driver, truck, and everything. I'll send it to you when I'll sign the rate confirmation. Okay, are you going to be the dispatcher on this one? Yes, I'm a dispatcher. My name is Alex, and you do have me in the system, 224-600-3200. Oh, moving really fast for a Friday. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. I just have to finish uh, something up, so... It's, yeah, that's another, yeah, that's another number we have. Yeah, that's a landline. Okay, coast to coast carrier at yeah. gmail.com. Yeah, sounds good. All right, let me know what the driver's name is. And I will send this rate down over in the next couple minutes, all right? Okay, sounds good. Thanks. Thank you, Alex. Uh-huh, bye-bye. So, guys, do we have a bit, uh, plan B? So, let's look at this. Oh, right. It's done right here with you live. I wasn't even planning to book any loads. So we have 813 miles, 39.50, right? So we're talking 39.50 divided by 813 equals 845 per mile. What is that showing us right now? Eight, uh, 485 per mile tread lines. Uh, at 327, but this is an average. What exactly is quick rate search, right? Quick rate search, you're going to choose reefer. You're going to put Juliet. You're going to put Juliet. And you're going to put, um, what is that? Quaker Town. Quaker Town. Uh, not New Jersey, Pennsylvania. 
Okay, Pennsylvania, right here. So let's see. 35. So this is the average pain right now for the last 15 days. So we had 39.50. So we had 300 something more than average pain load, right? Done it, done it. What else we need to do? We need to make sure we click on our rate confirmation. We're gonna figure out that everything is correct. Picking up 39.50, Juliet, appointment at nine o'clock, 35,000 on the wait, all the instructions for our driver, right? What are we gonna put here? Alexandra, accept it, and we are done. Load is booked. So is it possible to book pre-book loads today? Yes. What did I just do, guys? I got rid of the nightmares in the morning on Monday, right? So let's continue. Uh, can a dispatcher contact a shipper directly? Well, contact a shipper for what? If you are a dispatcher and you want to get an update if the product is ready, yeah, you can contact shipper, you can contact receiver. If you want to confirm if appointment was made for pickup or delivery, yes, you can do so. But contact a shipper directly for what? For getting loads? No, you need to have MC. You, not, you need to be a broker. You need to have a surety bond. As a dispatcher, let's make it one more time, this clarification. You working on behalf of carrier by providing service for them on booking loads. You just negotiating loads for them. You don't have your own MC. You don't have insurance. You don't have trucks. So can you contact the shipper directly? Not yet, unless you want to become a broker. Then go ahead and contact them and become a broker. Actually, we have the freight brokerage class starting in December. But again, can you do it without experience, without knowledge of at least basic logistics principles, markets, terminology, all those small things like a weather, like a t uh, time zones, equipment. Can you become a broker right away? I don't think so. I see so many people going and paying $300. They buy an even surety bond because it's like insurance. You can get it. And then what happens? And they sit there for months, two, three, four, five months without even getting any loads. Why? Because they have no knowledge, guys. So stop giving that information, okay? Stop doing that. You need to be ready to start business like this. You need to have a strong foundation because let me say, let's say creator player goes to shipper. If he does not know how much approximately he's going to be charging the shipper, how much he's going to pay for the carriers and then we have all this market changes what's going to happen they're going to take advantage of you because first of all you don't really have any previous history so they're going to do you a favor and they're going to take advantage of you yeah they're going to give you some loads and then what's going to happen you are brand new most of the factory don't even work with you yet as a broker then who are you going to be working with another uh, dispatchers or carriers who also brand new in the business and what's going to happen if you underestimated that? Let's say for this lane, you promised them that you're going to be taking it for 3500 because you thought, oh, my God, I'm going to be keeping 1000 bucks per load. I'm going to find a desperate dispatchers and a desperate drivers to take this load for $2,500. Well, maybe you're going to get lucky once, twice. Usually the desperate dispatchers and desperate carriers, they will not pick, it, pick up on time. They will not deliver on time. That's why they're desperate because they don't really know what the hell they are doing, right? So here you go. Now you miss one load, second load. What's going to happen? You're going to have a contract, right? You're going to start paying fees for the shipper and the receiver for not fulfilling the contract. So guys, this is a little bit bigger game than just getting MC. To get MC, it's $300. To get a surety bond, probably you can get it for $6,000, 6, 4000 a year. It depends on your credit. Again, on your personal credit. How long is your company in a business? This is possible. To get MC for a trucking company, like this, five minutes. 
BOC3, then you buy insurance, right? But do you want to jump in this business when you are not ready for this? Do you want to start dispatching like those desperate dispatchers who called me yesterday? And actually, they called me today twice. I guess they have a mission to, to call me every day. Different people, but same idea. Well, I don't think so. So what is this? Facebook is full of this, uh, full of this folks, unfortunately. Yes, that's why you have to kind of think and also gather the information. We have FMCSA. We have sites, even like Truck Stop, right? Truck Stop has a lots and lots of articles about logistics. You can sign up for that. You can sign up for that and you can watch their thread lines. Freight, uh, they have shows all the time, live shows that they are predicting what's going to happen. You need to just start searching different resources. And if two or three resources going to have the same answer, then maybe this is the truth, right? And also ask somebody, ask an expert, reach out to somebody, come for training. Trucking is possible, but you just need to know what you're doing. When I came to the trucking, I did not have a clue. And what happened? I had lots of mistakes, mistakes that cost me thousands and thousands of dollars. Even the way I was managing the company, I came from different background. I came from real estate, from physical therapy offices, totally different animal. Tracking is totally different animal. That's why most of you think, oh my God, she's rude. She's pushy. Well, guys, industry makes me to be direct, short, and I have to keep going because this is dynamic. So people who know me personally, people who ever meet me, they know I'm a social butterfly. I'm a good person. I am not, I am not mean. I am just direct, you know, directness. Plus, English is a second language. Sometimes, yes, we sound maybe rude. No, we're not rude. It's just because English is a second language. Again, what else? Please uh, show us that power. Now, uh, as your dead power, exactly how to settle the rate confirmation. Exactly how to settle the rate confirmation. Well, uh, I don't really understand the question, but settle, settle, you mean by negotiating? Well, you call, you look at the phone numbers and you start calling, right? So if you look at the power dead, you're going to open any of them. Of course, organized by dead head. Look at this. Mandelein going to... Uh, young style in Ohio. So you're going to check who is a broker, Freight Solutions. You're going to see their credit 95. Again, you're going to be checking it with your factoring and you're going to call them, tell them the reference number and start to negotiate, right? What else do I need to do? Since I know that my truck is going to be delivering on Tuesday in uh quaker town pennsylvania right i can post him back and i want to bring him back to midwest z4 z5 z6 and what i'm gonna put here now remember for monday i posted early truck well now he's gonna become late truck right ready after 9 p.m and why i am doing this well, because I know my shippers and receivers, U.S. cold storage, a lot of times they ship later or oh, Allentown cold storage. So you can still get loaded at night. So this is a load to come back, right? I want to bring him back to Midwest. If I want to bring him only to Illinois, well, then I should put exactly where I want to bring him, right? I want to bring him back. To Lake Zurich, Illinois, for example. Look at this. Today is Friday. Only 50 loads, but you can post him already because you want people to reach out to you anyway. Do you see? When you post your equipment, they reach out to you. So what did we do? We posted our equipment on TQL. We found the load. We gave them uh, our option. They called us. We stick to our number. We gave them break $50. And here you go. We go for $4.65. Um, 
You are good at making brokers feel intimidated. Well, again, as I told you, not because I'm a mean person, just because I know what I need and I don't really have time to waste, right? Right now I am teaching you. So it was not, maybe you guys take it as intimidation. No, this is just me. That's how I deal when I need to get to the point. I don't sweet talk. I don't sit there. Oh, please, dear TQL, maybe I'll do it for you. Just because you're a TQL, I'll do it for 3500 I'm not even going to negotiate because I love you guys in TQL. No, I'm going to do what's good for my career. And what is good for my career? To have a good pain load. So I know what I'm doing. That's why I'm not intimidated. I'm just direct. Okay, uh, Ken, we will be doing the broker classes as well. Yes, Ken, you are in safety class. You did dispatch and your daughter, so I'll see you in safety. Didn't get a load for today. Well, Jason, where were you? As again, who is your dispatchers? Did they have a plan B, C, and D? Did they go and do extra step? Or did they just give you, excuse me, BS, oh, power that is not working. Now, Jason, you have to sit until we can find something. Well, that's what makes you a good dispatcher. You guys going to go extra step, extra mile for your career. You're going to think outside of your box. And that's what I'm teaching you, right? Logically thinking, going outside of the box, all the possibility knowing the markets, knowing negotiation, knowing your equipment, and it's done like this. One, two, three, done. Uh, Alex, I like your presentation. Thank you so much. Okay, um, how, where do you check broker factoring? Well, broker factoring, again, each of your carriers are going to be uh, assigned to factoring if they use one, right? So you can go, you can go and check them on, for example, I have a guy in RTS. You can check by MC number or you can check by the company name. So let's check this guy. I know Redwood. You can just put start Redwood, right? I know for a fact they are not approved. See, Redwood supply chain, Redwood multimodel, they are a D. So if I would not check, if I would not check him with my factoring, what would happen? I would book the load. Let me see on, on, and try to find if the Redwood has any loads right now. So let's see. Um, let's adjust. You know what? Let me, I just want to find them. I just want to find them right now uh, to see what the rating is going to be in uh, on the deck. So see, fact, my factor in RTS did not approve them. Let me find if they have any loads here. So you organize by company. And we're going to scroll all the way to R, right? So let's see. Let's see. If we're going to be lucky, they should have some loads here. OP here. Redwood Multimodel. Look at this. Pay attention. So that is telling you that their rating is 97, which is considered B, right? So if you forgot to double check with your factor in which tells you that no, Redwood Multimodel is not approved, if you only look at this rating and the day to pay here, wow, they look good, right? 97 looks good. You're not doing a good job. Did I prove you my point? So you as a dispatcher have to book the loads only with brokers who are authorized by factoring of your carrier. So they might be okay with OTR capital. They might be okay with, a, I don't know, river finance, whatever factoring, but they are not okay with RTS. Am I am booking for carrier who has RTS factoring? Yes, I am. So what is my job? My job is to do that extra step, no matter what. So I personally never, never trust in that rating or truck stop rating. I always double check because I do what's best for my carrier. Uh, am, are we clear on this? 
So again, you're always going to have logins. If you are independent dispatcher and you have five different carriers and all of them have uh, different different factory companies, you will check for each carrier with their, with their factory. What if you are working for carrier who does not use factoring? Well, then you're going to be trusting the dad and they actually have an option that you can sign up and they promise you that if it was posted on onboarding, the broker has to pay that option and they charge you for this, right? It's called insure with debt. Up to you what you do. Again, you ask in my opinion as an expert, if you in tracking, you have to be smart with your money. And to be smart with your money, you need money coming in really fast. You need to pay on time for your driver, for fuel, for IFTA. You need to pay for your equipment, for insurance. Can you afford to sit there and wait for 30 days, 60 days, 70 days? Do you want to have another nightmare with all the invoices? No, it's not worth it. Plus, what else you have? Well, you have also extra, very easy, very easy invoicing, right? Load management you can create. Look at this. So if we book the load, so if we book this load, 2,500, let's say 29, 3,000. So what do I do? I add, I add this in, um, invoice, right? So I book it for this guy. Here is invoice. He's going to Cedar Rapids, Iowa to Pleasant Prairie. So 1,100 for 250 miles, right? Works, works. But you are helping him with invoicing. You as a dispatcher put the rate confirmation. He as a driver, when he unloads, he's going to take a picture of BOL, click, invoice, done, okay? So that's how easy it is. Uh, what else? Uh, let's see, a few more questions. People take advantage if you are nice in business. <laughs> yeah, I guess. People take advantage of uh, uneducated people, right? So they sell you cheap loads. They promise you uh, appointments. For, for example, Cisco, CNS, well, you should know that it's a strict receiver or shipper. So you need to know your stuff. But yes, people take advantage of the nice people. And also people uh, believe in some nonsense, right? So usually instead of being realistic, they believe, oh my God, they're going to give me 15000 a week uh, promised loads. Six bucks per mile. Really? Where is the six bucks? Are you that special that somebody's paying you six dollars per mile when for everybody else they're paying 320? I don't think so. It can be one load, it can be shorter load, it can be one magical load because you are recovering truck, or maybe you were there in the right time, right moment, but it doesn't happen every day. No broker is going to pay more than market is paying. Because this is a business, guys. If I am a broker, why would I give, for example, Remain more than I even have into it? Why would I add my own money to this? I would not because then I would be out of business, right? So everything comes back to market, to knowledge, to negotiations. So me as a dispatcher, uh, if the market's paying 327 I am probably at $3.99 for all miles, maybe for 10. As a beginner, you should be at least at $3.15, $3.20. But again, it has to be a teamwork. Your driver has to be uh, together with you, right? He needs to make sure he picks up on time, delivers. You need to know your HOS hours. You need to calculate transit. So this is so many things to put together to start making it so easy. Because people say, Alex... You show us and it's so easy. Yes, it's easy after a while, but you need to know the steps. That's why we have steps in our class, right? And actually, I just want to make sure that you guys remember the next class is November 13th. For people who still looking to sign up for that and get one free month, make sure you use our code. 
As independent dispatcher, you need to call them and they will sign you up. So you can uh, refer to us, Dispatch Training Center, and give them the code 2017 for one free month. When you guys are asking me again which subscription to get, $39.99 does not have of those tools, right? So at least start with $129, $179 because prices are going up. I need a new dispatcher. So Jason, here you go. You need a new dispatcher. Where are you, right? Reach out to us. I have so many good students. I mean, if you drive in a reefer, maybe I'll take you as a project. I love to take new people and see how I can improve their dispatch. But we have so many good dispatchers who finish our classes. Actually, some of them even go into the classes, but they have logical thinking. They uh understanding negotiation so if your dispatcher did not find you the load today just because they did not have plan b c d change them because you deserve somebody who keeps you moving it's no excuses sometimes yes uh we can get unlucky with what maybe with weather right traffic but everything else as a dispatcher you kind of can predict 95 percent by extra phone call, by knowing your information, by even Googling shipper and receiver, right? By calculating hours. So Jason, you can reach out to us. Again, it's uh, learndispatchtoday.com. Um, uh, you can subscribe. And when you subscribe, you can send the messages and I'll answer to you and we can help you out. Let's see. Uh, does your... Does your class cover factoring topic more? Yes, we cover this. Plus, we have a pretty good life we had with RTS factoring uh, because I am agent for RTS. Also, I have another video in our list. What is factoring? What is the difference between recourse, non-recourse? So please just rewatch. Look through our uh, list. It's there. It was done probably six, seven months ago and alive was i believe in june or july uh how do i become a good trucking dispatcher like you well you can be better than me right uh sorry guys but to become good in any industry you need the knowledge so start with some training take training from us if you like my personality because it's hands-on training if not, take it from somebody else. Just make sure that they are really delivering. They are really delivering what they are promising because you need to make phone calls. You need to see the real rate confirmation. You need to be able to practice load boards. Otherwise, all those classes are nonsense. But I'm not here to advertise me or put anybody down. People who've been to my classes, they already know that... Um, Probably I'm the only one in the market right now who goes all in 100%, 150% all in for all my students. Our classes are interactive. They are intense, lots of homework quizzes, but also you need to make sure you prepare for our class. Again, next class starts on November 13th, Saturday class. Once a week, four hours. Usually we go to all five hours. In between, you have all the assignments, all homeworks. What can make you a good dispatcher? So knowing the area, right? Markets, key markets. So knowing the big distribution centers, knowing the shipper receivers, knowing the equipment types. Actually really know your equipment, right? So if he's a reefer, which here is a uh, unit, right? Is it downloadable? Does he have e tracks Does he have a swing doors or roll-up doors? Is he air right? All those things you need to know about your equipment. Secondary, you have to be organized, right? Multitasking. To succeed, I can tell you the two things. You need to have a good chair because you're going to be sitting a lot. You need to make sure you have a good screens. With one tiny screen, is impossible to dispatch. You need to have your maps. You need to have your load boards. You need to have your emails. You need to have a logbook open up, right? So if you only have one screen, I don't care how good you are, it's going to be harder for you to succeed. 
What else? Learning from your own mistakes, right? If you know that this shipper never loads you, well, don't go there anymore, right? Negotiation, sticking to your grounds. Did you see how we just handle negotiation? Well, they posted, what, 34. I put an offer of 4,000. They're calling me. Well, we can, the all in is 35, but we can give you 36. Can you meet us as 36? Really? Your middle? No, my middle is 39.50. Did I get it? Yes, I did get it because I still have time. So if I am not getting what I really looking for, I'm not going to book it. I still have time today, tomorrow. I have time Sunday. I have time on Monday, right? So it's no excuse just to book the load because we can keep looking. But in this case, they gave us almost whatever we wanted, right? So when we put 4,000, a product 39, 34, uh, 4,000, this is a fair price to go to East Coast, right? What was it? 481 per mile, something like that. Uh, what else? Making sure that you have your black book, right? Black book, things not to do. Learn your commodities. Know your exclusions, right? Talk to your driver. Your driver should be your friend, not your enemy, because you guys are planning this together. Don't think that you know it all. No, you are providing service for him, right? So you need to know what kind of driver is he? Can he drive 600 miles a day? Does he prefer a drive at night or does he prefer a drive in the morning? Does he like to go to East Coast or maybe not? How old is his truck and trailer? Is it smart to even put minus 10 degrees if his reefer is old, right? So all of those things are going to make you a good dispatcher. But to be the best dispatcher, you have to do the extra step every time for everything. Double check rate confirmation, verify the appointments, call shipper, receiver, make sure that the driver is dispatched on time, make sure you have using all the options, right? That's what's going to make you a good dispatcher like me or better than me. Because guys, you have all the potentials. Most of you who are born in USA, English is not a problem, right? Most of you even younger than me, right? So multitasking is not an issue. If I can do it, Guys, you can do it, okay? What else? Practice is perfect. We're going to be finishing up because our goes fast, right? Practice uh, makes perfect, yes. Making phone calls, keep uh, polishing your negotiations, sticking to your grounds, knowing what's good or not. Yes, of course, like in anything, right? When you're baking the cake, the first time you might miss a recipe. Well, it's good, but not that good. The second time you added extra things, right? Extra step, a little lemon. Oh, now it's better. The third time you're experimenting, it's even better. So practice is in anything, guys. Um, what else? I see some of my students are watching. Hello, Alex. Do, do you have a people working for you as a dispatcher? Yes, we do. We have the full dispatch service. Yes, we had it already for five years. What else? I think we're done for today. Any other questions before we guys going to be finishing this unplanned life? I just want to wish all of you happy Friday. But I would like to finish... On the good note, right? As many of you know that we are awarding the free classes and people reaching out to us. Uh, hi, uh, hi, Baja, he's my student now. Hi, guys, it's so nice to see you. So let's read this. So someone is going to get lucky today because we would like to support people. And here is our candidate. Ah, so she wrote the letter for us. See her story. I absolutely adore and appreciate you. Sassy dispatch chick. Woo, now I'm sassy dispatch chick. Uh, firstly, I would like to thank you for being you. Well, thank you. Your energy is magnetic and genuine. Your teaching style is motivational. Yes, guys, I would like to make sure that you all get to your goals. I love and appreciate how you connect and engage with your students. 
I admire and I am grateful as to how you are empowering us queens in this male dominated industry and trying to enforce strong and loyal alliances for us all. Trust and knowledge are the keys to success. I have been watching your videos consistently for the past week and have become obsessed to say the least, lol. I've been hearing that from a lot of people that they keep watching uh, my videos, which is kind of uh, nice to hear. <laughs> uh, personally, me, I think I sound funny and I look funny, but you know, we all have our own little, uh, you know, uh, insecurities. And you feel like family, lol. The women in my family are a little spicy too. And I am new to the industry and I am not as prepared to get started yet. Well, I am not prepared at all. I excitedly moved on to the idea and formed the business by getting my LLC and tax ID, got a new computer and printer, even tried to invest in a class. Needless to say, that hasn't quite worked in my favor but he did bring me to you. Being a struggling mother of five, ages three, five, seven, 16, and 17, money isn't really available. Everything is behind to where I am picking up shifts, trying to get as close to 50 and 60 hours a week to keep us afloat while still thinking, but it's been taking a toll on my house lately. I actually work part-time on the weekends so that I can tend to school and virtual learning with my little ones, uh, so then pick up evenings and overnight shifts. They hate me always being gone, and I love it even less, but I am forever grateful. I just know it has to get better, right? But I was so excited to get started as a dispatcher because I could visualize the life-changing aspect of it. And I was so motivated and determined to get started. By having to work so much, took away from being able to focus on building my business, especially without the right instructions. I am trying so hard not to be discouraged and give up. I actually listened to the live recording which featured Brittany. Brittany, you are a star. Uh, and I was filled with a lot of motivation. Had me at work fighting back tears and everything, lol. I am so proud of her. Yes, Brittany is a star. She finished our classes in March and she is successful dispatcher. She was watching us today as well. My babies deserve a better lifestyle, a better version of me. I also deserve a better, stronger version of myself. I aspire to be a sassy dispatch chick like you when I grow up, lol. I will continue to watch and listen to your videos until I can afford to sign up for your classes. That way, I'll have a basic in getting started. I even like to subscribe to your channel to get access to the members-only videos. My goal at this point is to become educated and position myself to handle my first client and book my very first load so that I can begin to build my business before year ends, maybe even in the next 30 days. As I stated, I have the business set up now. I just need to have got knowledge and expertise. It's been a pleasure to make uh, your um, acquaintance. It feels like I know you already. Lol, please keep going what you're doing. I love and appreciate your mission in powering queens, changing the game, Love, love, love. Thank you so much. Well, Mrs. Shirley Redwine, you are officially my next queen. I am signing you up for our November class, which is going to start just in a few weeks, November 13th. And I will make sure that I'll set you up for success because that's what we do. We are here to empower women. We are here to empower anybody who wants to change trucking for better. And it's always me, Alex, your sassy dispatch girl, your instructor, and I really appreciate seeing all of you. So let's finish up on this happy note because we have the winner. And again, if you guys have a touching story, if you can really afford um, the training, reach out to us because we are always awarding free classes. 
We are on a mission to empower through education. And somebody just told me, well, rest your voice for the long weekend already. Yes, I'm already trained to have long classes. Okay, we have a new member. Look at this. We have support. And because of our members, guys, $3.99 a month, that's what we do. We empower people in need. $3.99 a month can change somebody's life. Mom of five, hopefully, is going to become the next dispatch star. Mom of five is going to be able to support her family and spend time with her kids. That's why all the lives we're doing, all the other things we're promoting, because we are giving back to community. Uh, we have lots of uh, lots of uh, members who already are helping us with our mission. We have lots of previous students who coming back for our safety classes, for IFTA classes. Don't forget our mentoring, right? We have monthly mentoring. When you guys get me extra two times a month for three hours each time, so six hours of extra in-depth knowledge. So again, thank you. I'm so blessed. The next live, please. <laughs> I will be trying to go on Monday, but we will see because I have pretty, pretty busy weekend. And uh, we have also enjoy your weekend, Alex. I really appreciate your classes. Thank you. Uh, how do you avoid to become desperate? It, it can be difficult to find loads for driver when he wants to remain local. Again, you have to be on the same page. I will subscribe and send email. Have 53 uh, feet step deck. Sounds good. Uh, how do I uh, get uh, carrier, you mean? Yes, first, probably by learning terminology, guys. Make sure you spell correct. Carrier, load boards, rate confirmation. You need to know your stuff before you guys going to be promising somebody nonsense. So, if you concentrating on how you're going to get paid, let me ask you these questions. What can you bring to the table? What knowledge do you have? Do you have enough knowledge to make career successful? When you can answer that question, when then you can ask what percentage they're going to pay you. Guys, again, I am direct. I am st straight to the point. You cannot ask somebody to pay you money or even ask how much they're going to pay you or how they're going to pay you unless you can provide them good service. So you need to know your stuff. And that's that's what I think it's going to be changing in trucking. When people understand that first you bring the value, then you ask carrier how much and how he's going to pay. So change the mindset. First, bring the something to the table, then ask to get compensated okay thank you for your time thank you again i love what you do and will be joining you in the dispatching class in november thank you another member thank you so much guys i love you all i'll see you soon guys uh don't forget to like the video thank you Vivi. yes with every like with every comments we are spreading all over but I think we already kind of taken over. We started in April. We already have 4,000 uh, subscribers only in April. So can you picture every month we're getting stronger? So my goal in two years, we're going to be 100,000 subscribers and we're going to change this industry for better all together. I took one of her classes. It is well worth it. Michael D. Michael D. Yes, you are my star. Remember that video? And actually, Miss Peggy, she was looking for you. I said that my assistant is taking break for now. She was looking to talk to you for about uh, other loads she had in Oklahoma. So you are already a star. When you need to connect to Miss Peggy, I have all her information. She did love your negotiation because, again, why? Michael has knowledge. He practice yes it took him a while to realize my classes are intense right and he even admitted that on video he said that we send so much information you need to reread you have to rewatch you have to start 
doing things, but he has a great communication skills. He understands logistics. That's why it was not a problem for him to book his first load, right? He was uh, very, uh, I was very imp impressed. We had a problem with, um, we had a problem with screens, but I think he solved it now. He understood after the practice that if you want to be dispatcher, no Apple, please don't go buy a fancy Apple, just a regular good two screens, desktop, and you're good to go. And again, thank you guys. I'll see a living le legend. Yes, a queen. I'm getting used to my new, new title, a queen. I actually like it. But I think I'm just going to stick to that sassy dispatch girls because I am not afraid of anyone. If I know that I am right and I know the truth, I will tell you, not just because I want to prove my point, because I want you to improve. So if some of you, when we do practice and I see that you did not learn the state's abbreviation or you did not practice your load board, well, I'm not going to be sitting there and sweet talking and saying, well, thank you for taking my class. No, I'm going to put you under the fire and say, sorry, how can you book if you don't even know load board by now? How can you book if you did not learn abbreviation of 48 states? How can you book the load if you don't know the time zones? How can you book if you don't know the regions? How can you book if you don't know the difference between drive-in and reefer, right? How can you book if you have no clue about the markets? That's why you need the knowledge to become a good dispatcher. I see you guys soon and keep watching, keep learning, and you're going to achieve your dreams. Love you. Have a good weekend for my students. See you tomorrow and on Sunday. <music>